So you're thinking about migrating your data. It's a big decision, kind of like moving to a new apartment, but instead of packing boxes, you're packing gigabytes or terabytes if you're fancy. Data migration is simply moving data from one place to another. This could be from an old system to a new system, one format to another, or even one location to another. Why is it important? Imagine trying to run a business where your customer data is on sticky notes, your sales figures are in a shoebox, and your inventory is tracked with crayon on the wall. Not very efficient, right? Data migration helps you keep your data organized, accessible, and secure. Plus, it can help you take advantage of newer, faster, and more powerful systems. But just like moving apartments, data migration can be a real pain if you don't approach it strategically. That's why we're going to break it down step by step so you can move your data without losing your mind or your data. Section 2. Before you even think about copying and pasting, you need a plan. This isn't something you want to just wing. A good data migration plan is like a good GPS. It tells you where you're going, how you're getting there, and helps you avoid any nasty surprises along the way. First, define your objectives. What are you hoping to achieve with this migration? Are you trying to improve performance, reduce costs, or comply with new regulations? Once you know what you want, you can figure out what data you need to migrate and where it needs to go. Next, define the scope of your migration. Are you moving all your data or just a portion of it? What systems are involved? The more complex your migration, the more detailed your plan needs to be. Finally, establish a timeline. When do you need to be up and running on the new system? Work backward from that date to create a realistic schedule for each stage of the migration process. And don't forget to factor in time for testing. You don't want to launch your new system only to discover that your data is full of errors. Planning might not be the most glamorous part of data migration, but trust me, it's the most important. A little planning up front can save you a whole lot of headaches down the road. Section 3. Okay, you've got a plan. Now it's time to get to know your data. This is where data profiling comes in. Think of it like a background check for your data. You need to know what you're dealing with before you can start moving it around. Data profiling involves analysing your existing data to understand its structure, content and quality. What kind of data do you have? How much data is there? Is it accurate and complete? Are there any duplicates or inconsistencies? These are all important questions to answer before you start migrating your data. Why is this important? Well. Imagine packing up your apartment and discovering at your new place that half your stuff is broken, missing, or you have two toasters, but no silverware. Not ideal, right? Data profiling helps you avoid those unpleasant surprises during your data move. Section 4. Data mapping. Making sure your data fits in its new home. You've profiled your data, you know what you're working with. Now it's time to map it to its new home. Data mapping is like creating a floor plan for your data in the new system. You're telling each piece of data where it needs to go and how it needs to be structured. This involves mapping the source data fields to the corresponding fields in the target system. For example, you might map the customer name field in your old system to the full name field in your new system. But it's not just about matching up field names. You also need to consider data types and formats. For example, a date field formatted as mm dd yyi in your old system might need to be formatted as yymmdd in your new system. This ensures that your data can be properly imported and used in the new environment. Data mapping is crucial for maintaining data integrity during the migration process. You don't want your data to get lost in translation, and you definitely don't want to end up with a bunch of mismatched or corrupted data in your new system. Section 5. Data Extraction. Getting your data out the door safely. Alright, you've planned, you've profiled, you've mapped. Now it's time to actually move the data. This is the data extraction phase where you take the data from your source system and get it ready for its big move. There are several methods for extracting data and the best approach will depend on your specific needs and the systems involved. You might use a direct database connection, extract the data into flat files like CSV files, or use specialized data migration tools. 
No matter which method you choose, it's important to ensure that the data is extracted accurately and completely. You don't want to leave any data behind, and you definitely don't want to accidentally corrupt your data during the extraction process. Remember, this is your valuable data we're talking about. Treat it with care. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Visit www.coolahub.com for more updates.